everyone and welcome to Backyard Bash 2018. Sitting here with me, I have Chris Parker and he is a member of the Faith Riders. And so Chris, welcome. Thank, Thank you, you so much for doing this. Thank you. And the first question I actually have for you is, can you please tell me who are the Faith Riders? Who are the Faith Riders? We are a crazy bunch of Christians on motorcycles. Okay. Um, <laughs> uh, we're actually uh, taking Luke 14, 23 literal and going to the road and compelling okay. people to come in. Okay. I took a little, a, a little bit of a look sure. at your uh, Facebook, and it said that the church has left the building. Yeah, yeah, we. Uh, it's kind of a running joke, um, you know, out there. I don't even know where that began, but we've kind of adopted it because yeah. we literally, uh, the church is not brick. the The church is the people, gotcha. and uh, we don't live in a building. We come from different churches, different uh, parts of the world. Gotcha. So, what inspired the creation of the Faith Riders? Um. While that goes back, uh, there's still some of the original members uh, that are around, and um, I think it was the opportunity they wanted to use the, the gift of the motorcycle that they had from the Lord and use it to get some kind of payback through it. And uh, some of the ministries that are out there didn't fit. We, we have a unique mission statement where right. we serve our local mission field. Okay. We don't send dues off to somewhere else right. uh, where our chapter is. We try to do work within the realm and region of that location. Very nice. Okay, and so what do you hope to achieve on this journey, you and your team members? Uh, today here physically? At, at well, Backyard Bash or just in general? Well, you can tell us both. Um, sometime it's just visibility, okay. honestly. Um, wearing the patch and having somebody approach you at a gas station or in a grocery store or wherever that may be. Um, where you have the opportunity to do a 30-second witness, right, right, just like plant that. a seed. Okay, and that's a long-term goal. Possibly. Well, obviously long-term goal is to help save as many as we can, but right. we realize sometimes that's an intermediary. We help them find a home church. I mean, literally, we've helped people find a home church Very nice. in the area that fit them. Um, it, it, we're just trying to serve. Gotcha. And very, very proud of you and all that you all are doing. Um, I just want to ask you now, what past projects or events are you most proud of today? With anything you've done in the past that you are actually very proud of and that you think was very, very um, suggestive of your mission and executed wow. that well? Um, honestly, I'd say some of the things we're the most proud of, mm -hmm. and I say we, but myself included, um, are, are the impromptu, the little things, not the organized event, but just yeah. the, the reflection of seeing someone touched in that moment. Yeah honestly is is where I'm most proud of yeah. and because we do some big events we do organize some stuff and participate in a lot mm -hmm. which there's all uh, obviously a positive feel and, and a ripple effect after right. but there's quite a few times it's just the little opportunity where you saw somebody individually just touched and grew and you saw where they went right that's amazing okay so we're gonna cross over very quickly the last question is going to come right at the end here, okay. uh, but we're going to cross over to our quick 30 second challenge. All right. I'm going to ask you a few questions and you just basically throw out whatever you get, any answer that comes to your head first. Okay. So are you ready? Sure. <laughs> Good. Favorite fruit? Wow, I don't like fruit, but I'll get <laughs> So, um, an apple. Apple. Okay. So you're a new addition to a crayon box. What oh, color goodness. would you be? I'm black. I've you're had black. that as a psych question before. I'm black. I make everything else look better. Wonderful. What's your go-to, rock, paper, or scissors? Oh, rock. Okay. God is my rock. <laughs> good answer. Very good answer. Chocolate chip or oatmeal raisin? Oh, chocolate chip. Okay. Marvel or DC? Well, I don't know if I could split the difference well enough to know them, but she's Parker with B, my last name. It's got to be Marvel, right? Got to be Spider-Man. Gotcha. <laughs> Very good answer. Alrighty. So lastly, can you tell us how to find you on social media for those wanting to connect with you and network or sure. joining and follow your journey? Can you tell us where to find you and how to find you? Absolutely. Um, we primarily use Facebook. We have a page on Facebook called Faith Riders of Winona. Uh, and it's not all run together, but um, okay. that's our primary page. We do a lot of the national work because Winona was the primary chapter. Gotcha. But we do have multiple chapters, so if you search out there, you may see them. Mm -hmm. um, you can reach us all the time through uh, Faith Riders Winona or Faith Riders of Winona at gmail.com. Okay. We're usually, or I should say, very responsive, and we'll try okay. to get back to you, and uh, we'll do what we can do. So if somebody has, like the Reverend for Devin that I, I mentioned on stage, right. um, if, if there's somebody who needs to be touched, let us know, and we'll see what we can do. Very nice. Well, thank you so much for joining us. Thank, thank you, you for doing this interview. Sure. Reach out to Faith Riders if you feel inclined to, but God bless you and thank you so much. Thank you. Appreciate thank you. it. Thanks, guys.